Okay, today we are going to do a spider web with watercolor and our white oil pastel. So you need to have, and it's gonna look like this at the end, you need to have your white oil pastel, your paintbrush, not a giant one, your watercolors that we sent home, and your watercolor paper. Now this is what it's gonna look like at the end, and since it's it was inspired by um, Charlotte's Web, which is what we just finished reading recently, you are going to pick one of these four words to put in your web. So the first thing that we're going to, and I wrote believe as, one, as my first one, and then I'm gonna teach you some other watercolor techniques. Um, you will also need to get some salt. Now the salt shaker is perfect for this. And you can just sprinkle it on when we get there. So I'm gonna set that up here too just in, so I have it handy. All right, on your paper, we're gonna do this horizontally instead of vertically, so landscape um, frame. You are going to pick your word and we're gonna start with the white oil pastel and you're going to write the word first. So I have them projected right here so you can pick the word that you want to do and I did believe in the other one so I'm gonna do radiant as my other word for this one. And I just write it, wrote it in white. Now you probably cannot see that, but you'll be able to see it on your paper. The other thing that you're going to do is you're going to put a dot where the middle of your web is going to be. And it's not going to be in the middle of the paper. Mine is kind of just under the words because we need to leave room for our spider to hang down. So I'm gonna put like a dot right here. And then from that dot, I'm going to draw lines out to the edge of the paper. And my first two lines are gonna go one to the corner up there and you wanna push pretty hard because you want it to be pretty dark and then down to the other corner. And you're gonna do it kind of like spokes on a bike. So they go out and if you, you don't wanna draw it through your words, you'd wanna hop, skip over them. When you get to a letter, you just skip over it. So then it looks kind of like um, a star because it goes right out. So I'm also gonna draw one over this way to the middle of the page. Now, the other thing, you're, you are gonna need the black color to do the spider. So, and we're gonna draw that at the beginning. So I, from the center, my spider is hanging down right here. So I'm gonna do a wavy spider line. And then at the end of that line, I'm gonna do my body of the spider now and a little head. Now I don't want any white showing and my little head. Now spiders have eight legs. So I'm gonna do six going this way. And then I'm going to do two this way. There's one, two, and then my other one, two, three. So then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. And his head is gonna be like that. So kind of a big spider. Now, back to my white. You are going to, from each line, you're gonna do a curved line and they t connect here and then they connect here, and they connect here, and then they connect here. We're not doing it over here because this part, the web is not over here. This is just gonna be color. And then I'm gonna skip and we're gonna do it up. And if you hit a word, you're gonna not draw through it because we wanna be able to see the word. And then, and then you're gonna make the, the curves that go all the way. like that. Okay, and make sure those those white lines are pretty dark. So you might need to move your head around to make sure that you see them. And then I'm gonna draw little lines that connect the letters because they're not just floating. Okay. 
Okay. Now, the next part is once you have your word in there, we are going to put water in each of our colors on our, you just wanna make a little tiny puddle in each color, okay? Because you wanna get these. Now we're not gonna use the brown or the black, so you don't need to put water in those. We are gonna just use our other, oops, and then I got some green in there. It's all right. We can take, get that out. So if you do do that and you get green in your um, or any other color mixed in there, the way you do it is with the water in there, then you just dip in a paper towel and it comes right out. And then you can put clean water in there. And then you let it sit there for a minute. Okay, now, the cool thing about this is when you do wet on wet, what you do is you take your clean water brush and you can, and we'll just start right here, just get the whole section wet. And you don't want a giant puddle on there so you can spread the water out around. And then what you do is you take your color <clears throat> and you dot it in there and it spreads across the the paper and then you can put some other colors in and and then it goes all over that and you will kind of want to let, let it do its thing there and then you can add salt and you will let it sit there and then it will make this really cool effect so if you don't want to do it that way you can take the paint you just don't want a whole bunch of it and you're going to just paint over the over just over right over the oil pastel and you're going to do that all across your paper and i'm going to put some more water on this one and then I'm going to add color. And I'm just going to drop in different colors. Now, if I paint back and forth, it will mix all the colors together. So if you want it to look like this and have, you know, swirls like it would in a real web, then you don't want to mix it all, all together. So you would just paint, put water on your paper and you can paint right over the oil pastels and um, the black, you will get some smudging if you do it over the um, black, but if, if you put water on the whole thing, then it spreads out. And I might even add a little lead in there maybe. Now, if you want to take like this big area, I'm going to get a bigger brush because it takes it takes a little bit more water to fill up that area. And I want to do it faster, so I'm going to use a bigger brush. And then I might add a little bit of yellow in there. And you can but keep in mind, if you mix yellow and purple together, you're going to get brown. It's not very pretty. See how it kind of got brown right there? And then I might add a little bit more blue. And some purple. And then I will get the rest of this wet, add my I 
and you can just mix around the color. Now, if you get puddles like this, you're gonna to wanna to spread that around. And it's okay if it's a little bit colored like that. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of color as I go. Just mix the colors however you want. But make sure if you if you blend them all together, they that modeling will disappear. And we really like that. So we want to make sure that we we can see it. But, but if you want to drop in some color. sprinkle it with salt now if you put the salt on you're going to need to let it sit for until it dries so that it does its thing like over here see this has the salt on it and it kind of makes this cool pattern and it will do that but if you have puddles like this you have to you can dip paper towel to pick up some of that extra water and then when it's totally dry you brush the salt off then if you get hard lines like this line right here and you don't like that you can go like that and then you can dab it and then it changes into that swirly colors it's very cool and you can see my word radiant right there so this is our Charlotte's Web inspired spider web with our words of affirmation. I look forward to seeing yours.